Okay, welcome back everyone. We, uh, didn't fucking save, so... We're gonna save right now. Nothing happened. Nothing, you know, happened to warrant animosity. No, oh, yeah. The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp, goodness, you'd like to meet that lady who modeled for it someday. Band-aids all over it. This piece was too depressing, so you gave it a nice re refinishing. Your pa has a problem with it. He's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. Hmm? You wonder if you'll ever be driving by then. If you'll be driving by then. It's called you. Or you teach because you're an adult and 20 years have passed. The teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It was named for its founder and chief physician, Arsula Teddy Bear. Okay, that's a cool clock, though. You've always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the align looks so alive. Or painted it must have very good imagination to do that, or they painted it very, very fast. This will make you blush brighter than the lamp itself. <laughs> Joey, you're gay. Boy, your pa really gets inventive with his tax money, huh? What a ghoul. You should probably be in a museum. No, I want to- damn it. Oh, jeez. You hear something. Breathing. Something else, you mean, besides you. Everyone's really giving you the creeps. Um, you have these, these beds are so huge, they don't even begin to fit, like fitting a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You'll need some D-cell batteries, okay. Um, okay, we're not gonna... Leave? Yeah, we're leaving. Just as you passed through the living room, pulling the door shut behind you, it shuddered as something heavy and wet slammed against it from the other side. I can't see anything in the trophy room, it's way too dark. Odd. Rest of the house navigable? Over? Considered utilizing flashlight? Over? You mean the one filled with you pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please. Over. No use dwelling on past. Over. It doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Over. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, recommend focus on restoring power before sunset's completely over. Oh jeez, you're right. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over unsecured channel. Over and out. Oh shit. Okay. Oh 
Jeez. Sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like something you've ever heard, like nothing you've ever heard before. And you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. Turn the radio off. It's off, and it'll stay that way. Rumbo, your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and even you can tell this is just really crummy. What a fucking home sweet home. <laughs> home sweet home with the fucking myth. Powers off as, and as such, your fax machine is basically useless. It's an unacceptable state of affairs. Th that dude has a hamster. There's no fucking way he doesn't. Snack. Someday, food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out, tipsy babysitters are fairly on, fairly bad at responsibilities. Sick is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. Okay, whatever. No way. No way. You did them last time. It's used her now. <laughs> you know what? After he completely ditched you for the treehouse earlier, maybe it can be used turn for quite some time. Take your shit. Look. The backyard used to be so much more awesome before the monsters showed up. Did I open? You really don't want to go out there right now. Tempting though, it is to go rake more leaves. Ah, the struggle of the monster bothered leaf pile enthusiast. You keep meaning to start a zine. Or zine. I don't know how it Look, you're not saying you never have home cooked meals. Your babysitter is pretty good chef even. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about ta takeout is you can just eat it. Right out of the boxes. And throw the boxes away, of course. None of you really like taking out the trash either. You're eat you're even out of dog food? Things have really gotten desperate. I guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was respectively the worst time possible. This movie is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He is ever since your pa had left him here months ago. Yeah, not a lot of, not a lot of chance of you being able to move Pharaoh and Napoleon over here. Hmm. Without the power with the power out, you're going to need some kind of light source before you're setting foot down this broken neck trap. Anything over here? Anything? Anything get scavenged for bad Ooh, trash? Not sure why the trash pile is next to the fridge. Even animals know better than to do that with their food fraternize with their to let their food fraternize with their waste. Mm. 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 Is there anything we get scavenged for batteries? So we'll go back up to the we'll go back to her room. Wait, they used to stack neatly on the shelves, but your big dog came clumbering through the slammed right into them. They trembled them. It was about three years ago. You can't. You aren't a great housekeeper. Um, let's tap this. <laughs> That's cute.
Uh, that would be just the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone of the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe? It's a shame that would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Else you can't really play the piano. Salvage. Dead batteries, of course, seems to be a running theme. It's a break stream. Got the cable hook up and everything. It's your home altar, and your method of worship is listless vegetation. The gods reward you with glimpses of the divine, Clarissa, Alex Mack, and the cool green lady from Reboot. I really like her. She's... yeah, she's cool. And you're gay. Sweet child, I just... Be my... yeah... okay. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage over. That's not really a tip. That's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do that. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit breaker probably in basement over. See, that was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best. Over now. Okay. This bookshelf contains several pause books, including pistols to pelts. How to turn sweet, intelligent animals into weird rugs and stuff. Teach yourself taxidermy, I guess. And safari, stories of bold men and the animals they killed from a distance even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. <laughs> She's so fucking salty, I love it. Um, okay, we're gonna go upstairs and try and salvage some fucking batteries. Fucking head hurts. Anything around here is so much Jewelry box, perhaps heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there are ears. Maybe some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. Yeah. The lighting is nice. Remember, of course, have ever gotten any jams like this? Have you so much? You have so much coming. Annoying little brother, computer in a room, uh, second story bedroom. Uh, as much as you hate to admit it, Clash's life deviates from yours a number of vertices. Her parents were around, and she had a cool friend who was a boy, but not her boyfriend. No monsters in her yard, etc. Turn on without his precious electric spoiled computer. Um, uh, hmm. Perhaps I went to the wrong location. Who knows? Prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry cartridge shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listening to them. There's Bubsy, there's... Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. Yeah, I think 
Ernst ist nicht richtig. Hmm. I can't find anything here. Probably look like an idiot. Probably something obvious. Various cushions by her where you spend several hours every day unconscious and hallucinating. Usually while the majority of the other people on the cotton are also doing the same thing. That's a fun way of looking at sleeping. Does anyone see in more detail? As one does, it is covered with um, by a mural that your mom painted for you when you were very, very young. Why do you edit the star yourself? The stars yourself. You are quite pleased with the results of the long-term mother-daughter collaboration. That's so sweet. <laughs> Can't find any fucking batteries. No. Just gonna only check out this fucking batteries. These light bright any batteries. Is that sensation? Is that sensation? There's nothing around here that requires batteries that I can see. So I found some batteries before I fucking end this episode. This that would suck. It has to be somewhere here. Okay, that's cool. I don't. Okay, let's go in here and check out. Stay inside where your chances of meeting agrees with the windows are pretty so pretty good. Let's see. Um Something here. The other three of the batteries in this thing are a way too small for anything you may or may not currently need batteries for, and B, dead as doornails. Okay, everything over here seems to be dead. A universal remote definitely sounds like something that would be useful on your advantage. Set the powers up. Universal is probably disappointingly misleading and. Said you were on an adventure anyway. It's for you haven't even left your house. Listen, I haven't left my house in a year. For those of you wondering, I am agoraphobic, so you know, don't really leave my house. I often have been trying to. Okay, well that was the timer. So, uh, well, that 
next time, we're gonna hopelessly look for batteries. I guess? Nah. I will probably try and find batteries in the, uh, in the meantime. So, you don't have to deal with all that. So, I will see you next time.